welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Windows on your Mac using Bootcamp. First of all, you're going to need to update your machine. Just go to the Apple logo at the top of the screen and Software Update. Once you've done that, you have to back up all your data. Make sure you do this because sometimes things can go wrong. Okay, so next you're going to need a few things. Your first thing is your Mac. The second thing is the restore or install disk that came with it. And last, you're going to need a Windows disk. Um, this, this, ha this has to be the full version and not an upgrade version. Okay, so once you've got those three things, you're going to go into the uh, Bootcamp Assistant. You can find that in the Applications, Utilities, and Bootcamp Assistant. Once you've opened that, you're going to click through the options to get to the Creating a Partition place. Right, if you're going to be playing games on your Windows uh, partition, you're going to want about 150 gigs of Windows hard drive space. I'd probably say go for about a 35 to 40 gig minimum if you're not going to be using it that much. If it asks you which format the partition should be, pick NTFS. Once you've done that, it should prompt you to put your Windows installation disk in. Once you've done that, click Start Windows Installation. Be aware your computer will restart a few times during the installation, that is normal. Eventually your Windows installation disk should pop up on screen and it will ask you where do you want to install Windows. It should give you a list of about four different partitions. You want the one called Disk Zero Partition 3 Bootcamp. Make sure you pick this one only. Next you have to do a few things before you can choose that disk. You have to click on the hard drive options at the bottom right, and then you have to click the format button. You then have to format it as an NTFS partition. Once you've done that, your computer should start installing Windows. It may restart a few times during the installation, that's alright. Eventually, it should boot up in Windows. There, you can stick your Mac installation disk in where it'll download the drivers and get everything working for you. Once you've done that, you're going to want to do your Windows update and make and get everything working again. If you want to boot up in Windows, hold the Options key on Startup as soon as you see the white screen, and it will give you the option to boot up in either Windows or Mac. Unfortunately, sometimes you do have problems after the Windows installation, where the drivers uh, don't appear properly, meaning you can't actually start up, and you get a black screen. I will do another video uh, showing you how to get around this, and I'll put the link in the video somewhere for you. Thanks for watching, rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.